All right, it is Sunday, June 25th, 2023. I'm out here in Pomona at the Pomona Fairplex for the Pomona Swap Meet. Uh, we haven't had one in probably a couple months. Uh, the next one's gonna be August 13th, but for now we're here shooting this one. Lots of great cars. This one looks like it's gonna be pretty full. The weather's gonna be absolutely perfect. I think the high today is supposed to be like 76. So great swap meet weather. So definitely the crowds are gonna come out and the cars are gonna come out. So without further ado, let's go see what's here. All right, we're going to start out. This one's actually already sold. It's a 1960 356B. Asking price was 56000 It is sold. There's no point in showing you the uh, sign. So just a reminder, some of these cars will be sold. So remember, if you see one, I'd say after about a month, don't call on it anymore. If it's a screaming deal, uh, it's probably sold already. And those are the swap meet rules. Let's go find some that are still for sale, though. So the cars are definitely rolling in this morning. Nice unibody Ford on bed. Now first we have the sand rail. 15,500. Oh, sorry, down to 13,900 right there. So I do get the uh, Volkswagen section last. This is usually how I do it. There's a uh, 44 Coupe. So it is 17,500. Yes, I still have mine, and no, I have not gotten to it again yet. So lately I've actually worked on that 61 Buick I picked up. I got this uh, Chevy van, 1965. 8, 000, I believe it's 8,500. So it's a, a window van, not a panel. Crispy there, they got just surface rust. I can't see the top rails, which is usually the where your problem area is on a van. Got this 64 Chevelle wagon, 15,000. That's going to come through. It says it runs. No other information given. Has a bright yellow club. That's what they put on there when they mean business. Crispiness down there in the uh, doors. So that's Goliath. I've seen this one out here before, it's not for sale. for the beach, it's a Hellman. The 58 Del Rey four-door. A little bit of rust, it's got the uh, inline six. It wants uh, 2,500, needs a little bit of help. Crispiness down on the rockers. Definitely a project. I used to drive a 58 Bel Air four door daily about 20 years ago. The GMC. A little bit of a dent on the side there. This one has the signs on the other side. Yeah, I'm guessing. Uh, Distributor cap mounted over the uh, where the carburetor goes it means it's not running. So it could be yours for three thousand. Look at this 
Z car. So it's 47,000. Got long enough look there. Sixty two Continental convertible. So it runs and drives for thirty. Rebuilt transmission. So I did get the Buick running. It's going back and forth in my driveway. So I'm waiting on a gas tank for it where I could proceed any further. I've got a auxiliary fuel source hooked to it. And it's going to need obviously other things before I start driving it. Eventually we'll get it on the channel. Roll into this Continental. This is a 66. 16,500 runs and drives. I will say these are very expensive to restore. There's a little bit of crispiness down there. That Thunderbird doesn't have any info on it, so I'm not gonna get too in depth with it. The square body is for sale. Here's the information: six thousand five. Have the Chevy two door that's on a trailer. I can make out a the sign on the other side that says it's twenty thousand. So we'll get over there and show you the sign. Coming in here and I'll show it to you. There's the uh, info on that one. Got yeah, a 65 Galaxy 500 XL. This one's a 390 FE variety. Here's the XL package, means buckets console. This one is 45,000. Bring the for sale sign here. And throw on that one. I guess I can roll it into the Chevy. I believe we've seen this one before. I could be wrong. This one is used for 62000 It's extremely clean though. Yeah. In the video when I'm out of town in July will most likely be the Beetle that I own with my stepfather as I don't think the Buick's going to be on the road by then. Uh, 
a 64 C10 could be here for 5,200. It's like somebody sanded it and was going to paint it at one time. So it's, I can't make out the state on the license plate. It's from out of state though. A bit of rust in the normal spot in the corner there. I can't see in there. So I'll just hold my hand up. Hope it looks good. And a Baja 64. Going at 16,000. Like I said, I got uh, the upcoming events will be in the comment section of the video probably shortly after I, I put, it goes uh, live. And it is a tentative list, so it could change. I've actually already changed a few things. So always check the list in the most current video for the most updated list. I know, I'm, I think I'm going to that Midnight Mass show in Sacramento at the end of July. I switched that from the good guys in Washington State to 62 Continental. I don't see a price on it. It just says, let's talk. So I've got that. Next week I've got Montrose Car Show. This one's got a 32 valve V8, so it's been updated. The week after that we have Long Beach Swap Meet, and I'm going to try to hit the uh, Moon Eyes uh, open house in Santa Fe Springs. I believe that's on the 8th of July. The 34 Chevy for 32000 There's no, no phone number on there. So no sense in bringing in too close. Now here's more information. It's got a 5.3 LS conversion. I still don't see a phone number, so... Obviously, if you don't see a phone number, you can't make it out. A lot of times they're posted elsewhere for sale online. You know, such as Craigslist or Marketplace. Offer up, Auto Trader, one of those. Got an Opal GT, the poor man's Corvette. These have the lights that flip sideways. Never seen it, it's pretty funky looking. No price on it, there's all your info. It does have a cracked windshield. Of course, these were actually sold at Buick dealerships. This German General Motors last tag in 1981, vintage SeaWorld bumper sticker. That's a bonus. Take it home. Seventy-eight Dodge van for five thousand five hundred is ready to go camping, and I do still have my eighty-three, which I've entered in the uh, Grand National Truck Show, which is back here at Pomona, and I can't remember. I think it's September, if I remember correctly. So let's put on. I think we've got the CV in the overhead and the uh, and the moonroof there. So we've got that entered in that, I believe. And I'm also doing the in and out show out here in Pomona as well, as well as, of course, the swap meets that are coming up. Yeah, this Fox Body Notch 81, 6,300. No worry on what drivetrain it's got. It is an automatic, so it might actually not be a V8. We have this 99 Dodge Ram 2500 Cummins, this is the 24 valve, it is an automatic. I actually have a 96 myself that's the 12 valve, yes, they have the and 11,500. I will say the manual transmissions in these are much more desirable and of course if you have a four-wheel drive one, which I believe is the two-wheel drive variety. There you go, an affordable 64 Impala, $1,200. That's that's all you get of it. Sorry. And here's what's holding that uh, Impala front end. A little mini Peterbilt. 
that one's not for sale, so I don't get too in depth with it. The 92 F-150, I'm not gonna try to get through there because I've got a mirror forest there. 9,900. And I got this for 39.99. You get this F-250 long bed, super cab with a 460. Like original paint too. The 67 Mustang, 22,500. Newly painted. I think the phone number was written in higher Groflex. Does have a little bit of orange peel in the paint there. The 72 C10 pickup. Big block. Oh, Volvo. Nineteen six. This one has a salvage title, so be wary of that. Says it uh, needs distribution work. Uh, this 59 El Camino does not have any information on it, so I know if it's in the background, someone's going to ask. Here's this uh, 61 Coupe Cadillac, 11,000. Says it runs and drives. Looks like it hasn't been washed in 30 years. Have a little bit of uh, rust there on the back window. Not sure if this is from California or not. Yeah, it has a black plate on it. A bit of rust back there, too. It might have been a Beach City car. Got a Chevy K5 Blazer. But it is 26,000. I don't know if you can make it out. It's written very lightly. It's like it's out of Arizona. This uh, 48 Chevy ice cream truck. It is summertime. Get your business started today. It says Happy Herbs. Uh, yeah, I don't know what that means. <laughs> I'll play innocent, why not? <laughs> Might have to air it out a little bit before you start selling ice cream out of there. Square body for an 84 GMC, 11,500. The Malaysia Nova, just a phone number, no price on this one. I don't know what year this is. This might be a smog year too. There's square by. This one's got the uh, monochrome 80s look. She tub. Seventy Mustang Fastback says four speed with a three hundred two twenty one thousand. So 
like it's been like recently like rattle can painted so be wary of that that's often done to hide things last tagged in 98 They left the patina. So the 1940 Chevy. This one could reach for a 5,500. Do not open door. That's a good sign. Is that a little bit of rust there on the lower edge of the uh, trunk? It's one of the uh, car clubs that comes out. They got a uh, whole bunch of mini trucks. So these guys showed up at Radwood a few years ago. Yes, this is coming back for those who remember the uh, 1980s. They used to have the dancing beds and the jump beds and all that. This was a big deal. All these guys show up at lowrider events as well. Here's one with a dancing bed. Uh, 71 Chevelle that's for sale. So it's 39,000. Well, the info on that. Not super sport, it's a Malibu variety. She got a hitch on her. El Camino. Oh, sorry, it's the uh, GMC variety, the uh, Caballero, 7,500, 60,000 miles, and it's been on propane its whole life, so probably an old man truck. It's got a uh, little moonroof cut into the top. This looks totally like an elderly person's truck and very well taken care of. Which often they are not. I'll bring the other side because you don't see them very original like this too much anymore. Especially not the GMC version. I believe this uh, square body step side is for sale. Uh, 21,500. Hopefully that comes out. You have to turn your TV sideways for that one. Guess the owner's name was Sherry. Yep, we got an AMC, we got a Javelin. This one's a 304 variety. Very clean. I actually took my AMC Matador to Bob's on Friday. So I believe I have that dialed in now. This one has 15,000. One owner car. And honestly, that's not terrible. I would say AMCs are still a great bargain. That's a very clean example. The 72 F250 bump side. Okay, we'll go around. We'll see if there's a number on the other side. So the sign on the uh, F-250 on the other side didn't have a phone number either, so it had the exact same information as the other one. A custom F-100 project, this one's 5,000, so 56 model. Does have a chop. Looks like the glass still needs to be cut. And I'm not sure if he's missing the bed. Yeah, 
570 El Camino. Oh, this This one is 28,000. Seven Mustang. This one does have a sign on it. So I give yours for 40k. See the info. And this Beetle for uh, 10k. This one's a 71 model. The Chevy Caprice Lowrider. A little bit of a project for 10,000. Not sure if he has all the glass pieces or not. So it looks like it might have been in like a fire. I think that's exactly what that is. Yeah, that's that's what's going on there. Have a look there. So, forty-seven Fleetmaster Chevy for five thousand. He's got a, a V eight swapped in. Not sure why there's a trailer ball right there, but okay. <laughs> Hope you're not towing anything too heavy. This one, this side, you can actually read the phone number. There's Buick Regal, four thousand five hundred. It's got Grand National wheels. I gotta get in there. He's actually negotiating with somebody. The C30 tow truck, seven thousand. Very nice patina. And it's lowered. Lowered with some airbags. A Buick that's for sale. Twenty-three thousand five hundred. Pretty good look. That's why it's got the doors open and everything, all ready to be filmed. There's the info. He's actually the owner's actually pointing at the sign like, there "Get the is. info." <laughs> Come get it. She's ready to go home. Yeah. Yeah, it's 56. Not sure this one's for sale. No, this one does not have a for sale sign. There's usually a few tri fives parked in this area that aren't for sale every time. Yeah, for the street rod guys, here's the 37 Ford. I don't see a price on it. There's all the info. Looks like it was done probably in the 90s, would be my guess. Has that that style. You can see in the magazines back then. All those uh, cars have been coming out of the woodwork lately. Yeah, that's 36 Ford for 65,000. This was a little bit more of a traditional rod. Actually, I'll get the number a little longer.
And we got this 33 Chevy, 20,000. We look on the interior. I just got to get a nice wide shot of this one. I guess I roll right in this 41 fleet line. This one's 30,000. If you like this sort of thing, check out my Bomb Club show video from a few weeks ago. That was a very nice show at Santa Anita Racetrack. Lots of lowriders and bombs and customs and things. You have this uh, 49 Chevy Kabirs for 14500 a little bit of an updated interior. Bring it around the back here. This looks like it's out of Texas. It says 40 Deluxe doesn't have any info on it, so only on the one that's for sale. The 48 Chevy. It says it's uh, 20,000. I'll see if I can get around. Oh, here's a sign on this side. Somebody's giving a good look on that side, so I'm not going to bother them. two-tone Chevy pickup. Looks like it has a sign on the other side, so I'll bring it around and show it to you. So it is 23,500. See that. Got a 50 Chevy two-door. 38,000. The visor. Baker pickup, it's not for sale. We got this '57 Ranchero, looks to be very original. It's either original paint or very old paint. So it's 9,250. There's all your info. No word on what drivetrain it has. Fifty-five olds that's for sale. Twenty-one thousand. I believe we've seen this. Looks like it was in Santa Maria. I believe I've seen this out here before for sale as well. Before it. This is the '98. It's top of the line. This to be an older restoration. A crack in there on the glass. Model T pickup for fifteen thousand. One is 35,000. Actually, there's no phone number on it. Yeah, this 48 Chevy pickup truck. So 
point is 14,000 or best. The 55 Beller Tudor hardtop, 49,000. Oh, there's no phone number, but you can see it says 49,000. Yeah, the phone number is on the one on the seat. Get a little bit of a look. How about a Bob Marley A track there? Good vibes from the Bob Marley A track. Uh, just as make an offer, it's a uh, Mercedes Benz slash Dodge. I guess they must just have a Mercedes engine of some sort. That's Mercedes diesel powered. So if you want something that'll go a million miles and look cool doing it. 1940 Studebaker, it's for sale. If you like Studebakers, I did film the uh, Studebaker show in Anaheim a few weeks ago. Seven known to exist. Here's for 39,000. There were a lot of great Studebakers at that show. So 56 Bel Air. 25,000. And a 55 two door wagon. LS, 46,000. We have a 57 Nomad that's for sale. Very original looking. No price on it, but... Uh, even in this condition, they are not cheap. It's like original paint, except for the back. Looks like when the top looks like it was primered. Sixty Corvette project for you, twenty-five thousand. Those who want to do some fiberglass work, we could walk around on the Corvette section. We'll focus in on the ones that are for sale, such as the seventy-eight. So he's got a 454 in this one, 30,000. No, these did not come with a 454 and 78. I got this 1957 fuel injected car. 120,000. We've seen this one a few times. This was actually at the Roadster show last week as well. Out here. If you haven't watched that video, watch that one too. <laughs> so that's not for sale, but I think he's just selling some wheels and a transmission. Yeah, it's just, the car's not actually for sale. It's a C4, this one might be for sale. This one is a uh, 92. So it's 20,000 original miles and it's got a six speed in it. So it's not for sale, but it's very nice to look at anyway. So 
take a roll into these uh, that are here. So we find one that's for sale. The newer one, so 2009 for 39,500. We have an 82 Corvette, 13,000. Seven C4 Corvette, eight thousand five hundred. This one has an automatic. It's be very clean though. This one is not for sale. We'll have a look at it anyway. Radio Flyer themed roadster. This nice roadster pickup with a flathead. A lot of great roadsters last week out here for Roadster Show. Bucket for sale. Eight thousand five hundred. Uh, Corvair ramp side pickups, not for sale though. This forty. This is start out as a forty-one Ford. It says <laughs> thirty one thousand. Twenty nine A Roadster pickup. This one could be for thirty seven thousand. Couple 54s, only one of them's for sale though, so we'll zero in on that one. One's a Ford variety, 19,500. Got a 56 Lincoln Premier Tudor hardtop. Eventually, I'm gonna go get my father's out, which is in the garage at my sister's house. And that car has not been on the channel yet. Got a 49 shoebox Ford. It's got the lake pipes on it, the spotlights, and a continental kit. Yosemite Sam sticker, not mud flap. I'm still rocking the 70 Sam mud flaps on my uh, Dodge Cummins. Nice 
Chevy cab over. Fifty-five Ford Thunderbird. So it is forty-five thousand. Try to reach over there. Seven. This is not for sale, though. Clear-coated Chevy Suburban. That's 51 Chevy for 31,900. Chevy that's for sale. So it's not for sale, but it's very cool, so we'll get into detail on it. looking model A. It's not going anywhere. This bucket T nineteen twenty three. Hey that rhymes. pickup here's a wild one check this out there's just so much going on here Seven two to hard top. This was not for sale though. offer no price on it. it's a 210 trim level that is for sale. This one is 20, I guess it's 23,000 or 25,000. I can't quite make it out. There's a GMC that's for sale. There's nothing written on the sign, so 
not going to bother zeroing in on it. And it's a diesel. So. I figured he had to be heading here. Buick that's for sale. So it's uh, 35,000 our best offer. For sale for $69,950, this F100. A 59 El Camino that's for sale. It's actually nothing on the uh, sign there. Pickup, 17,000. This one's a 3,600 variety. So this 
place is definitely full. So just a reminder, if you haven't done so already, be sure to uh, subscribe to the channel and tell your friends who might be interested in this type of video about my channel. This Model 2. Getting ready to roll out. Falcon Ranchero, 1960. The uh, Windsor Ford in there, 15,000. I'm sure if the sign's gonna come out. Written in ballpoint pen. Very clean Chevy that's for sale. This one's a 41 fleet line. It's 59 Edsel. Got a 55 Chevy pickup, short bed. It's a little bit of uh, restoration there. 9,500. Clean title and running. Looks like it's been uh, sitting outside somewhere for a few years. Here's the uh, Facebook Marketplace special on this panel. We blocked out the price, so it must be free, right? That's what it says. Nope, it's not actually free, sorry. Nice try. There's the info. What does he want for it? Hell, I don't know. <laughs> it's a nice panel, though. get the whole like Facebook marketplace putting your stuff up without a price and then it says it's free and then you get angry and say no it's not free in the ad it's like just put the price <laughs> you, know, you don't want to say free put the price <laughs> So I didn't announce the uh, the next Pomona is August 13th. So I know someone always asks. It is posted on their website, believe it or not. They do have a website for this uh, swap meet. It is Googleable. Bowl. And you can put all the future dates on your calendar. Beautiful Cadillac that's not for sale, but let's have a look anyway. Let's get the uh, modern center console. Got a 1936 Chrysler. No price on that one. A very original looking car. It's 28 Ford Roadster. 32 grill. Your info. There's a uh, 57 Chevy. This one's a panel with a price. Here's for 17,000. 500, 350 with a turbo 400 transmission. Take a good look inside. Ooh, the girl on the dash. Aloha to our viewers in Hawaii. 
Well, that's for sale. This is the southern pickup. Gonna try to avoid the pop-up tent farm that's sprouting up. I think it says 13,990, I think is what that says on there. If I read through the wiper. Since I started filming these, I've gotten really good at reading signs through uh, windshield wipers. It's a skill I've developed. Got a uh, Packard, 1940. That, no price on it, but beautiful car. So 51 Chevrolet convertible, 40,000. Is a bit of the uh, restoration work. Got BB uh, shots on the glass there. It'll be a very solid, restorable car. A little bit of uh, metal missing there. It's got the fancy club. One isn't for sale, but it's absolutely gorgeous, this GMC. There's a hot rod with a nail head. The fuel uh, car manifold. Ready for the beach. A custom Hudson. Chevy powered. Three deuces, not for sale though. Nice Mercury. It's a 57 210 wagon. So you're for 35,000, it's got an LS. Sign it's a he's just selling a power steering gearbox. This 
59 Bizcane. Here's for 79,000. He's got an LS. But love side cuts up. Show the interior, man. It's full custom there. This one isn't for sale, but uh, I had to show you that engine. Very clean 55. It's got a, a station wagon bumper so you can put the uh, plate down low. Mystery car, what is it? Is it for sale? Does it have a sign? We'll never know. I'll bring you this Ford though. <laughs> I'm in that kind of mood today. It's a 53. 57,000 brings this one home. Looks so like it's built for touring. So I can run you down the other side. No one's playing music. It's got air, all the creature comforts. 57 Ranchero. The uh, Interceptor 312. Under Dash Air. Now that's 57 Buick. This 56 Buick Tudor Hardtop Century, 27,500. Let's get the uh, Coors transmission selector. A little bit of uh, rust repair needed there on the pillar. Maybe a little bit on a Pomona price. This 56 Bel Air convertible for 70,000. Restoration. I-62 convertible, not for sale though. This one that is for sale, 51 Chevy. It says that's 4,400 original miles. That's, uh, I don't know if you can get that, but there it is. 4,400 original miles. To me, it looks like the interior's been redone, but like I said, Upholstery doesn't hold up a lot of times in storage. I have a paperwork which says you're supposed to 60 convertible with the skirts. There's a 64 Impala that is for sale. Said it had a frame off restoration on it. The 59 Buick convertible. Chevy. It's a 66 F Series pickup. It was a 250. 23,000 miles. 18,000. It needs a little bit of rust repair. It might be a bit of a Pomona price if you ask me. Uh, Chevy for $38,000. So it's got Cadillac seats in it. Kind of like a probably late 80s, early 90s DeVille would be my guess. Uh, 
38 Ford pickup. This one is 20,000. This one is a stick bed. So lots to see out here. Got this 54 Chevy. This one is for sale. This one is uh, 30 G's according to the, uh, it actually says 30 G's. So Dodge that's for sale. I think we've seen this one before this panel. It's got a, uh, some sort of LA block in there, probably like a 318 or 340 or something. 19,500, new drivetrain. This one's for sale, the Chevy. 28,888. Must be one of those lucky number things. There's people that swear that eight is like the luckiest number. Yes, that's a thing. 64 El Camino, 20,000. Sixty three Impala. Billet rims and monochrome scheme. It's the nineties again. Hey, they're even Boyd's rooms too. Here's for fifty five thousand. This thing screams hot rod magazine circa nineteen ninety five. She got the tail light treatment. Chevy for 17,000. He has flyers, contact. Oh, sorry, I can't read uh, behind a paper clip, only a windshield wiper. So it's got an older lacquered paint job that's showing its signs of age. Just like my Buick at home. <laughs> Yeah, this 51 Chevy for 31,000. Well, the TMCs are not. I have a Chevy, but like the window fit. <laughs> Chevy is for sale. Go for fifteen thousand. <laughs> A forty two Chevy sedan. Our 42 is a short model year because of uh, World War II. bed not long bed wrong bed short bed 8,500 so they actually put the earlier beds on these when they realized the unibody wasn't gonna work out until they had a matching bed I believe like a year later sort of a unique piece of Ford history this looks to be a very original Olds. 
Hopefully we've seen this one here before as well. For 19500 34 Ford Coupe fiberglass body 27,500 looks like something maybe was done in the 80s oh, no, I'll get right there you know where I'm from, right? truck 17,500 doesn't say I believe it's a Dodge so it probably has a uh, flathead six of course a lot of these were sold as like war surplus after World War II wound up being used out in the desert and whatnot the 64 Rambler sedan this one's been here a few times 8,900 out of the uh, Las Vegas area. It says that's 47,000 original miles. The so third gen Camaro Z28. Check it out. It's the 88, so that's a limited edition. This one's the IROC. There's the uh, for sale sign on the IROC 14,500. This international travel. This one's been here before as well. All you early SUV people, 35,000. It's a 73. It's a 75 Caprice. 27,000. According to this, it has 10,000 miles on it. Looks pretty original to me. It's the Martin Landau edition. It's a 66 Caprice two door. There's 10,000. 86,000 miles, needs a windshield. Should be readily available for these. He's got an old club to match the car. Do like a full walk around on this one. It's a strip 61 Impala, 14,000. He says he has all the trim. It's a little bit of quarter repair there. Wow, that's that's some Bondo work. Check that out. Put on your 3D glasses, it might get better. Actually, it might make it scarier. Ooh. Yep, she needs some quarter repair on both sides. We call your gas or dreams come true with this Henry J. This one's a 53 model. Henry J. Kaiser. For four thousand with a line drawn through it, so I guess he's accepting less. Oh, we've seen this one here before. You can see the outline. It was one of the Allstate, sort of the Allstate decal. You see the outline it's shaped like the United States. So this is one of the Sears sold Allstate Henry Jays. Short bed C10 81 12,900. Very fine American Motors product. This 59 Rambler American. 8,000. A 64 Dart, 24,000. You can have a flyer. 
60 Cadillac, no price on it. This would be like an older, older restoration. You got a uh, Ford Ranchero. So it's a late 63, but it looks like a 64, 65. I don't know if it has a 63 VIN or not, but it's 19,000. Not original, it's the rims. They higher. Yeah, 63 I always knows the rounder body style. He's got an old uh, Zimdap motorcycle in the back. You have a uh, 61 Apache. 25,000. This is E6,000 original miles on it. Should be very clean. A little Honda Trail 90 in the back. Yeah. What, what, I actually have one of these just like that in the house. I bought it for my ex-wife and she never wrote it. Oh, that's sweet. So this little C10 short bed for $25,000. It's a 1970 model. So it's got a 350 and very clean, presentable truck. Seventy-one Cutlass Supreme, sixty thousand miles, twenty-nine thousand five hundred. I don't have anything, but I'm looking for parts for anymore. Interior shots here. Just to be pretty honest. Yeah, the, 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 the boat. It does not get more 80s than the Boyd's Wheels Ford Aerostar. Only $2,500 for this piece of 80s history. This will sell. <laughs> I am not kidding. I even with you can tell it's been to the beach. Wasn't he out like Huntington Beach? I believe he was. So, wow. This will sell as a piece of. 80s history if it was actually Boyd's truck. At least we got the Boyd's wheels. This is like the perfect thing to take to Radwood. I'll bring in the other side of this piece of 80s history. Look at it. It's got shaved handles. Like it just got left outside for many years. The only one on your block to have a Hot Rods by Boyd Ford Aerostar. So the uh, custom Suzuki Samurai right hand drive. Check out the car phone, remember those? Seems like straight out of the 80s. Got your subs back there. Now, even in the uh, VW section, we got some nice VWs. So, with the rag top, oval window, the Z28 convertible for sale with no info. So. A uh, 62 or 63 Nova, he doesn't, not quite sure. According to the sign, 33,000. Ready to go racing. She's caged, I'm sure tubbed. Little Nova, at least the Concourse edition. 78, 5,000, not even running. Very patina though. A uh, 64 Galaxy 500 XL convertible. It says police interceptor motor. 390. Uh, interesting one. I think the phone number is on the sign on the other side. 18,000. 
Need some restoration work. Oh, so, so it's not, it's not registered at the moment. Sorry, I can't get much further from the car. There's too many other vehicles around it. To try to get you what I can. And of course, we got the uh, pop up tent forest. Right, right, yeah. Oh, there's your phone number right there. Sixty-two wagon, not for sale though. Got a seventy-nine coupe de ville. Uh, no info. Just this is. Oh, there's the info. It's hiding. Sixty-seven Impala lowrider for sale. Seventy-two C10. Eleven thousand. I don't know if you can catch the phone number. It's way up high because it's on the trailer. But it's pretty fairly original, missing some of the trim. It's like it's out of Texas, so it should be pretty dry as long as it's not near the water. I think this Caprice has been for sale at every single Pomona since I started filming them. No number on it though. That's probably why it's still for sale. Checker, the 5,000, 1970 model. It's a bit of work. Uh, 64 Impala, two door. Looks like it's out of North Carolina. Your info on that one. Classic fans, the Spartan 2, the Lincoln Grill. This one's actually uh, built on a Nissan Z car. $26,000 with 53,000 miles. The thing with these cars, they're usually low miles and always garage. <laughs> I don't think I've ever come across one as it wasn't. She had the uh, very 80s car. She got the T-top from the Z car. There's actually one similar to this in that new uh, Grand Tour on Amazon if you haven't watched it yet. It's a 61 Low Rider for sale. 135,000. So less the money on the dash so you can help pay for it. C20. Where the camper shell? Twenty-one thousand. Info. The Tomaso Pantera. A beautiful 59 caddy. Check that out. That is gorgeous. Not for sale though. But... Gotta be honest, this is the most crowd I've seen Pomona in quite some time. 
Dodge Power Wagon with an LS swapped in. 49,000. Something a little bit different. Looks like it's out of New Mexico. Cars still rolling in, those cars rolling out at the same time. This is Dodge A108. Thanks. Tall top camper. Seventy eight, nine, eleven, fifty nine thousand. Target top. Pull into this nine fourteen. Is nineteen thousand five hundred. I think it's the same guy as the uh, nine eleven we just looked at. The sixty seven GTO convertible. It's got the old California Knox sticker on it, so it's a California car. First, uh, his and hers dual gate shifter. No word what en which engine it has. It's got the uh, wood, wood steering wheel. 44,500. The 65 Dodge Coronet convertible. 25,000. This has 85,000 original miles on her. She's got a no, that's somebody put that there. That was a rear delete plate, but it's got like a couple of screws that are obviously aren't factory. Oh yeah, this one's for sale for thirty-eight thousand. The Chevy. This is honestly the most crowded I've seen this place in quite some time. No price or trade. Yeah. There you go. I think it's for sale. It's a 62 Impala that's for sale. No uh, price on it though. El Camino, it's for sale for $7,000. It's been marked down a couple of times. It's going to get you a good shot, even though it's, he's right up on the guy next to him. We have a Senator Parker. The 66 is for sale. There's the info on that one 30000 for. A 72, hey, uh, 440 hey guys, runner. I just wanted yeah. to mention, I did yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. 59,500. But how long are you guys staying? This one is an automatic. Oh, you're out. You're going tonight? I bring as much of it as I can. It is getting, like I said, it's getting harder and harder to shoot the cars with all the uh, people moving in. So a 55 Thunderbird, it's for sale for 25,000. Says it's been converted to a 350 Chevy, but he has the original motor and trans. This 52 Studebaker pickup, 19,500 Chevy powered.
Very cool Studebaker pickup. Bought a London taxi. This one's 63 Austin. This is a cab. pretty cool. like a little box. Right hand drive. And it was it wasn't even half the place. An interesting OBS pickup GMC 17,000 on this one. A 66 Mustang Fastback 16,900. A little bit of restoration work. It's got the 70s stripes. So 70 Chevelle LS5 454 convertible. This one is 110,000 or best. Does have the cal induction hood with the flapper. Automatic. A very rare car. Yeah, this Cadillac Eldorado convertible. This one's a 76, so it's a smog year. 25000 The price on it. Here we have the Chevy Malibu station wagon. I can't even make that. Uh, oh, that's part of the phone number. You wrote the phone number into the price. Got it. It's a mystery. We'll roll into the uh, 67 Impala convertible. This one's a super sport variety with 8-track and plenty of 8-tracks. It's got like Van Halen, Deep Purple and whatnot in there. This is a 396, 3 and a quarter course and it's not for sale but this thing's so clean I gotta bring you some more of it here you go there's a 62 in Paul that is for sale for 29,000 I'll bring you over here oh good there's a sign on this side Sixty-five Mercury Montclair, nine thousand three hundred forty-five or five hundred forty-five. Sorry about that. One is the four-door hardtop variety. It does have the optional Marauder power plant. The Sixty-five El Camino for sale for sixteen thousand five hundred. Says it runs good. Got a uh, Mercedes 450 SL Roadster, 7,500 on this one. It's a 1980. This was the car when I was a kid my mother always wanted. We just talked about how she really wanted one of these. It even comes with the matching hard top. So another bonus. Mm -hmm. Seventy seven Big Ten Silverado C ten seventeen thousand five. Sixty six Catalina two to hard top. Pontiac, 9,500. Had a uh, Buick Skylark, it's got the Pontiac honeycomb wheels. It's a 68 Grand Sport 350, 5,500. It's been sitting a few years. 
And for the Mopar guys, it's Treasure. 40 Magnum. Very, very, very orange. Got a Chevy, it's actually a C30 one ton ramp truck. 26,000. I don't know if they're selling the uh, 56 Chevy that's on the back. Like the uh, Chevy is for sale. 49,000 vertical miles, 29,000. The 69 Mustang. I like got 65,000 or best. Little Corvair, 4,000 says it runs. Get info on that one. An 81 square body, 19,500 on this one. It's got an LS in it. Not sure if we can get you a shot in there. It's kind of dark. Short mid, step side variety. It says C20 on the side, but. A little Nova four door that's for sale. 10,500 for make offer. Brings home this crew cab Nova. It's like this thing had a little bit of a accident there. And a 68 Mustang. Oh, it says it's sold. See folks, they do sell cars here. This Chrysler two-door 49, 5,500. There's the info on that one. So the 61 Pontiac Ventura four-door. I can't even make out the price. I think it says 3,000. Yeah, it does. It's written over here. Factory air car with original paint. Looks like it's out of Las Vegas, so makes sense it's on a factory air car. Used to be pretty solid. Something's been changed on there. Guess what that is? It's a uh, V8 in the front. Of course, it's originally air cold. And there is a 69 Nova drag car, 32,000. Very patriotic theme. The 65 Continental, 23,000. I'm sure it's going to show up. It's pretty sunny right now, so. The 61 Olds Starfire Convertible. You don't see these when it's 40,000. Not a car you see very often. Buckets and console. The 70 Mustang Notchback. 13,500. There's your info on that one. Blacked out Chrysler for 9,500. And it's four door with the uh, rear handle shaved. Very well worn 53 Chevy pickups. There's an inline six. 25,000. This one could be yours. Of course. 
I got another seat in for you. This one is 13,500. Daily driver. It's got the uh, particle board bed. There's a 72 El Camino. 8,000. I bet that's uh, extremely loud. Drive it home. Unless you don't like your eardrums, I guess. <laughs> there you go. This truck isn't for sale. We'll just give you a good look at it. This one is for sale. This Ford. F100. Just a reminder, if you own any of these vehicles and you sell them, please leave a note, or if you buy one of them, leave a note in the comments section, and I will mark it as sold in the uh, video description. So that's 59, that's for sale, 135,000. Info on that one. The 60 that needs a little bit of work. Twenty-five thousand. Bit of a project. A 62 Pontiac convertible. She's a bit on the crunchy side. Eleven thousand. It's a Parisian, so it's actually a Canadian model. As F100 dent side, 19,500 short bed. That's that band that always comes out here and plays. Little V8 Mustang, 289 car, no price on it. It is local, 66 Angerable Valley number. The 67 C10 short bed for 48,000. There's a 68 El Camino for 12,500. No music currently. So we have for sale sign, but it does not have any info on it. The 34 Chevy. Bit of a project. Do some of the Volkswagen starting with this 72 that can be used for 10,000. Twenty-four, maybe do a bit of a wagons, 15,000. Carmen Ghia. So it has a for sale sign on this West Folly yeah, pop top. 29,000 is a 71 model.
For some of comments, yes, I do realize the microphone cut off uh, somewhere when I started doing the Volkswagens. Uh, I'll just leave the footage in because you can still see the for sale signs. Uh, I was a, I, I did not hear the beep go off that tells you that uh, that uh, your microphone is dead, unfortunately. Uh, that's going to wrap things up here for Pomona Auto Swap Meet for June 25th, 2023. Uh, next week, we are off to the Montrose Car Show uh, and rolling into July. Lots of other great events coming up. Be sure to take the tentative list, which will be in the video description uh, as soon as I get the video up. And... Uh, be sure to like, subscribe, let me know what your favorite car was, and until next time, I'll be seeing you.